Well, what's up guys? It's Mo and today I have for you another Cricut style DIY video. We are going to be making some um, vet dashboards using like clear, like lamination pouches, like clear acetate, any type of clear plastic, vinyl, and then these uh, planner page templates um, that I have for you that I will link down below. We're also going to be using something that I got for free on Creative Market. Um, every week, Creative Market offers six, yeah, I think it's six design six things uh, for free. I got this a couple of weeks ago and I really liked this like modern, the modern rainbow thing. I'm really into that right now as everybody else is, but they do free stuff, like six free things. Like if you go over here, you have to sign up, but you can click on get free goods and then they have, um, you know, the six free things every week and it changes. And you have, I think Monday to the following Sunday to grab what you want. So you can see here they have, um, this looks like a brush font, brush font, some nebula backgrounds, another font, um, some like Ivy illustrations, another rainbow pattern thing, a PowerPoint template. And then I think if you like spend, yeah, when you spend $15 or something, you can get more, um, bonus goods and stuff. So um, it's always good to just go on Monday and check out the six free goods of Creative Market. So I'll leave that link down below. I'll also leave these guys linked down below. Um, the rainbow patterns. Let's see. I wonder if it's going to tell me how much they are now that they're not free. For some reason, my computer is going very, very slow recently. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I have too many things on it. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't say, but I'll leave it linked down below for you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a brand new canvas with, uh, or in Cricut Design Space. I have already uploaded these guys, but you do want to upload, um, the classic size, uh, page template and then the classic half sheet page template. And I'm just going to select those two and hit insert. Um, I think I uploaded the SVG file and not the PNG file. So, um, the sizing is always off. I don't know how to get it to import in correctly. So I'm just going to align these uh, to the left and to the top. And then I'm just going to change the keeping the proportions locked. I'm just going to change the height to 9.25. And I know that's the height of the classic size uh, planner. So these are going to both work. We are going to do some welding, some slicing, some different stuff today to create our little dashboards. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate this because I might need him later, but I'm going to go ahead and hide the, the half sheet in one of the classic sizes. So first off, I want to make a, um, divide, not a divider, but more like a clear dashboard, um, for my planner. It's also raining outside. So I don't know if you'll hear the thunder. Um, and I've kind of been liking the sort of cut out, like type of look for, um, oh, and we're also, also going to make I don't know if I said this. We're going to make a planner uh, dashboard. We're going to make like a today marker. And then I want to make a like mini dashboard, a half sheet dashboard kind of thing for my task cards that I want to start using. I love everybody's task cards that I'm just like, I really want to start using them. So first off, we're going to make this vinyl uh, dashboard. And I really like the like cutout kind of look where this is clear and then you have like a border of vinyl and maybe like your name or something. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a square. We're going to insert a shape and we are going to kind of bring this over to where we would like our little vinyl cutout to be. I'm going to unlock the proportions and then just scale this guy down. Let's see. And we can also use like our align, the align feature. So we can drag and select everything, um, center vertically, see how that looks. I think I kind of want to make this a little bit bigger. A rain, no, no, not flip. Align, center vertically. Cool. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to select this black guy uh, square here and I am going to duplicate and I am going to make my cut out by kind of just dragging and resizing. I took the proportion lock off there. That's a big thunder. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide him. I'm going to drag and select both of these guys and I'm going to center. So now they're perfectly center. So now we are going to, whoops, I'm going to select all of those. And I'm going to hit slice. And what that's going to do 
is make me some shapes. And what I really want to use is this little outline here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete, delete. We'll bring this guy back. And you can see this, this dashboard, the green part is going to be clear. And this is going to be the vinyl that we overlay on the dashboard. So I also want to make this, I think I want to make this say plans. I want to put a rainbow on it. Let's go ahead and import a rainbow upload. You can see I imported this one as um, a cut file and then I imported this one as a print and cut. All of these, oh man, that's a big thunder. All of these uh, rainbows here are... Uh, I think I think they're vectors, but uh, I just worked with the PNG file. It was it was fine, and I meant to save this PNG file as a uh, print or as a the cut file, but I didn't. So let's go ahead and insert him. So we'll go insert images, and he's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and change this to be uh, no fill, maybe. Yeah, okay. So we'll change it to be this color. And I am going to scale this down. And you know, maybe I could put it like in the center here. I'm going to weld these two together. And then, I don't know. I'm just playing around here. One, I had that I made one that said plans. So let's go insert a text here, type out plans. And I'm going to go and select a font. I'm going to select my system fonts. And I think. The one that I want is, I think it starts with a K. Let's go, keep going down, keep going down. Yes, KG, do you love me? Um, and I like using like a sans serif kind of blocky print because I think it's going to look cool. So we can kind of like put this here, maybe make this one a little smaller. go like this this is me just playing around I'm kind of doing this like a lot I did this once before to see if my idea would work and I think it does and so I just wanted to recreate it for you guys so I think this will be kind of cute so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on my shift key and I'm going to select both the rainbow and the plans and I'm going to go to weld and that's going to make them one layer. You can see that weld result here. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select our weld result, the plans in the rainbow, plus the outline here. And I'm going to hit weld. So now this is all one um, layer, one cut. So if we go ahead and hide this, you can see the Cricut is going to cut all of this out. We're going to have to do some weeding and stuff because this is going to be our vinyl layer and this is going to be our clear dashboard, laminate, acetate, plastic, whatever you want to say, whatever you're going to use layer for your, um, your dashboard. So we've got those done. I'm going to go ahead and hide these. Actually, before I do that, in case anything gets moved, I'm going to go ahead and select both of those, right click and group. That way they get moved together all the time if anything happens. So I'm going to hide that whole group. Uh, let's move on to our today header kind of deal, or today, um, what is that called? Like page marker. So this is about four inches, five inches wide. I kind of think I want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a square again. And we will unlock the proportions, make this 9.25 because we know that's how wide we need to make everything. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to align these left and align these top. And you can think, okay, you know what? I think I might want my bookmark a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, etc. You just want to make sure that this height stays at 9.25. So now we're going to select both of these. I just drag, drag my cursor across to select everything. We're going to slice again. So we will end up with what we can use. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, I'm going to delete this. I like to use, I'll use the yellow one just because we can see it better. Uh, delete. And then you could even save this and line this up on something you want to cut out before or again later, like something you want to cut later that could have uh, the punches for to fit in your classic size disc bound 
planner. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And now we have our little page marker. Again, this is going to be clear. I'm going to use uh, this as the template to cut out with my Cricut. My, uh, my I'm going to take three mil laminating sheets and run them through my laminator with nothing in them. So I just get a piece of plastic, essentially. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to make a tab up here. So let's go ahead and insert some shapes. We're going to insert a square first. I am going to size this guy down. I think I want it to be maybe something like that. We're going to need to zoom in here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. Now to make this rounded, I think I... Uh, maybe like it like that far. Uh, we're going to insert a circle and we're going to size this circle down and we're pretty much just going to eyeball him and align top and so that's going to be like it's going to, and we're going to make this a welded shape. So it's going to be a rounded little tab there. I'm going to duplicate this, select the circle and the um, square, the black square, and align left and top. And then we can use our arrow keys to kind of nudge this guy over, see if that looks about right. I think it does. I might size this down after we do a uh, weld here. So let's go and weld. Cool. Now we can take this and arrange, send it back. And you can see you have like a little tab there. I think I want to align this all the way over. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to unlock the proportions here because I think there might be a little gap right there. And I kind of don't want that. So let's do it like this. I say I don't want it down. I want it over. Okay, now let's go back and align right. I So you don't want to make this too far, sticking up too far. I think this is going to be a pretty good amount for this little tab to stick up because you don't want it to stick up above your um, cover. You know what I mean? So now we can go weld these two pieces together and we get a pretty cool little shape. I'm going to change this back to a yellow color just because I like working with the colors and not the, the dark shades. Okay, back to 100%. So I am going to go in and put today in that same font. Marcus is getting into a bunch of stuff upstairs. Whoops. And then we'll rotate this. I'm going to lay this on my marker here. Change the size. And I think I'm going to go back into my uploads. Grab this guy. Hit insert. Super huge. Let's make him smaller. We're going to rotate him as well. And I just want to put this on my page marker as well. So I can align these guys. Align right. Cool. So now I have a pretty neat looking, I think, little page marker dupe. Yeah. So now I'll go ahead and group these, right click and group, just so we're working with them together. Um, again, this part, the yellow part is going to be clear and this is going to be our vinyl. I don't know what color, maybe I'll use holographic vinyl, I'm not quite sure yet. So I am going to go ahead and hide this group. Now I think I want to go ahead and insert another one of these, insert images. We will do 9.25. I got to figure out, I'm going to measure these little adhesive pockets that I bought that are like business card size. So I think I need this to be four and a half inches. So instead of using this one, we'll just go ahead and hide him. We're going to use this guy that we were working with before. Um, nope, not upload, cancel. Let's go to shapes, square. 
I know that I am thinking I want him to be four and a half wide by 9.25 tall. Again, 9.25 is the size of the or the height of a classic size page. So align top, align left. And let's go ahead. I'm going to insert another shape to kind of lay out how I'm going to do this task card thing. Um, these are like 3.75 by what did I say when I was doing this before? Two and a half. Let's go here. Square. Unlock. 3.75, two and a half. So you can see, let's go ahead. I think actually I'm going to need to bring this guy back because I want to get a tab as well. So let's go ahead and slice. And I'm going to delete him. We'll delete him. We'll work with this one. We'll delete these guys. So these little pockets here. Yeah, let's bring this arrange, bring to front. These little pockets, duplicate, are going to sit on this little dashboard I'm making. Uh, duplicate, like this, I think. Yeah. So let's bring this back. Let's right click and duplicate. Let's hide this group again. This is now at the top. Um, I think we'll right click, ungroup. I'm going to go ahead and delete. No, not duplicate. Delete, delete, delete. We'll align these guys left, align these guys bottom, and it's going to put this tab if we weld it. So let's go ahead and hide all of these squares. Sometimes I'm afraid they are going to get welded in the middle or something like that. So now we can hit weld. And we have something that has a little tab on it here. Um, I think I'm going to control Z that. I'm going to move this over. Let's see. I don't think we can align center because it's kind of off center. So what if we do something like that and hit weld? There we go. So that's kind of in the center now. So I'll bring these guys back out. Arrange. Uh, center back. So now we have like our little task card pockets just to kind of show what we're using this for. I'm going to take, because I also want to put a vinyl here, I'm going to write tasks. Take this up here and make this maybe a little bit smaller. Upload. I'm going to grab this image again. Insert change this to be cut, uh, make it smaller, bink, 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 bink. I could also make, um, what do you call it, like vinyl decals to put on these adhesive pockets. Maybe that'll be something else I do. I did that for my um, patrons one. What size is this? How tall is this? Uh, 0.836. So let's make this one 0.836. Sweet. Now these are the same height. Align bottom. Too close. Too close. I'm going to go ahead and weld these to make them into one. Mother of Pearl. There we go. So we can delete this, delete this, delete this. And I have now the things that I want to cut and weld and whatnot. So I should go through, let's make sure we can see everything. I need to see that. I need to see this. I need to see this. Okay. So this is a group. Uh, I don't really need to see that. This is a group. Let's change this here to be this color. 
So that means all of these are going to cut on the same mat. I'm going to change this one to be like pink so it'll cut on a different mat. And then if I have vinyl placed correctly, it, they may all fit on the same. I'm not sure. I could probably even, since things are going to get weeded, I could take this and put this over here. That'll preserve or conserve some space. Let's right click and ungroup. That way I'm not wasting this whole thing of vinyl. Is this going to fit? Well, I didn't weld these two together, which may be better because then I can just line them up. Yeah, that's not going to fit, but it'll fit like this. So I can just line them up on my contact paper. So let's go ahead. Let's go to layers. Let's ungroup this background, ungroup. Arrange, send to back. No, I didn't want you to go to back, but okay. So now I don't want to weld this. I just want it to kind of be attached, I think is what I want. So let's highlight this and let's, let's hit attach. And then let's go to make it and see how it aligns our mats. Yeah, so this is going to cut off from one vinyl. This is going to cut from one of our acetate or lamination pouch sheets, another one, and another one. I bet you, let's go cancel. Let's go back to color sync. Let's see if I make these two the same color, if they will fit on the same matte and be eight and a half by 11. So let's see if we can do, ooh, I don't think so. Eight and a half by 11, it's gonna, no, it kept it on uh, one page, awesome. So that should work. And then this will have to be, let's do eight and a half by 11. The lamination pouches are a little bit bigger, but so I'm gonna go cut this and I will be back with you to assemble this. <clears throat> okay, I almost seriously gave up on this project because I extremely dislike vinyl. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is the one that I had for my task card. I just laminated, I, I said I used three mil, but I used five mil um, laminating pouches and I just laminated it with nothing in it, just ran it through my laminator. And then I used the poster board plus setting to cut these out. I used the vinyl setting to cut out the vinyl stuff. Um, and the poster board plus goes over the cut two times. So then we have this one that is the, um, like today page marker thing and then we have this one that is the dashboard so I'm going to do the big dashboard first because I'm, I'm about to lose my mind I almost I don't know if I said this I almost gave up on doing this project if I wasn't so far in I would have just stopped let me move the camera closer a little bit because I ripped my vinyl so this one is not going to come out very great because I ended up accidentally ripping my vinyl and then my original transfer tape wasn't strong enough. Then I realized I bought super strong transfer tape and it's just a mess of everything. So you can see it like ripped, the vinyl ripped right here. So there's that. I also don't have the backing on this because I 100% just give up. So I don't know really if this is going to be straight or lay down where I want it. Seems pretty okay. There's like a little bubble right there. So I'm just going to straighten this all out with my little scraper do. These little dots, I tell ya, don't ever do this. <laughs> With the little dots even though I'm like here buy less thing and you know try it out so now I have strong transfer tape so it's gonna be wackadoodle to try and get it off maybe not Ooh. okay cool 
and it ripped here at the L when I was trying. I had accidentally put it down and I don't know. So, oh no! Uh, I'm missing the line for my N. I don't know where it went. Okay, whatever. This is, this one's a fail. I give up, but I just want you guys to see what you can do, I guess. This transfer tape, geez, Louise, it's strong as heck. Half of this is a craft fail because I don't know where the line for my end went. I cannot get this transfer tape off. I'm taping washi tape down to my work surface so I can keep the plastic thing down. Don't buy, unless you're maybe putting something on like a car, do not buy super strong transfer tape. It is pointless. Jesus. It doesn't have an N or the line for the N and there's like a bubble right here. Okay, so yeah, I don't know where the line for my end went. Ah, can you see my head? I'm going to strangle something. Okay, so in a perfect world, this would say plans. Where the heck did it go? Like, the, where? Where? I'm going to find it later, like, stuck to me. Maybe I weeded it off. Maybe I didn't realize and I had accidentally like torn it long before I tore it, I tore it when I was trying to do the transfer tape thing. So I'm going to try and do this one again. I hope I have enough vinyl to do it. But you can see it's just a clear like vinyl dashboard thing. Um, let me go get my planer. So, I don't know, put it in like that, something, there's lots of glare, but yeah, so maybe I'll make this again, maybe I'll just put a big rainbow, who knows, also you could totally do a rainbow with different parts, like different vinyl colors, if that makes sense, and just put it on your dashboard thing, so after that fail, let's see if we can go on to do, like this is so strong. And I did <laughs> my today marker with that same strong grip stuff. So this, how did we have that on the screen? I think it was like this. Yeah, so let's try. I'm gonna mount this down with washi tape again. This is going to be, maybe I should trim this closer. Like the, even if I wasn't reusing that, the piece that I used for this, the little light grip, I guess, or regular um, contact transfer paper is still not strong enough. Like, I don't think. Okay. It's kind of hard to see because it's clear, but I think I have it in such a way that makes sense. So let's see. This is still going to be like I don't want to rub it with my thing because it just made it so hard to pull up. Who knows? This one was easier. It's still pretty hard, but it's kind of easier. Oh, 
machine than me, but you can't reuse this one because it gets all crumbly. Okay, so now we have our today marker. I was gonna use this washi tape for Marcus's birthday spread, but then I decided against it, so that's why I have it out. So let's get the planner back. I have this marker currently. Let's go to the next week. So then, and let's see how, it's kind of big. I, that was the right choice on how far, pretty much exactly on how far to bring that guy out. And um, this tab, if you can see, probably not, is like much wider than this one, which I like so I can grab it easier. So there's the today marker. You could even do it double-sided, like you could print, or not print, cut another one and put it there. Um, make sure it's like reverse though, so it matches. And then let's do our tasks one. So I have this guy and I'm going to, you should see my desk right now. These are the adhesive pockets. They're business card size pockets that I got on Amazon. There are like some other sizes. I'm trying to see what other sizes there are that might fit side. Like this one might fit like sideways. I don't know if you wanted to slide a picture or something in there. Um, you could even like put it on the back because it's all clear so you could kind of put it on the back maybe and slide the picture in so it's facing up so maybe if this gets more wear it doesn't you know bother the picture but you could also just put it in this way and then the slidey part would be here and then you wouldn't be touching it with your fingers a lot so those are those um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these like from each other so I can kind of line them up Make sure the pocket is facing the right way. Am I in frame? Let me just kind of put these guys down. Maybe I should put this down first. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy down first. That way I know like where to leave the room for it. So let's see if this one comes up. There we go. I have never had this happen so nicely. Usually it doesn't want to come up. It doesn't want to stick down and see like you can, you can reuse that. I feel like, okay, so we have our tasks down. Let's put the first one. What is under my fingernail? Um, down like this. I think that's straight. I don't know if I would recommend peeling them up, but you can. Okay, and then maybe we put the second one, the bottom one down, or maybe not because we want to make sure they're straight, right? Or spaced evenly and lined up properly. Okay, yeah, let's put that one down and then let's put the third one in the middle. I still have to make my task cards. So there's that and then you just put your little task card in the middle and I don't know where I want to put this in my planner. I'm so mad. I lost that L. I am going to redo this though. So you'll see, I don't know, something else. You think I should redo it hollow? I think I should. Yeah. And this is just, again, the size of a classic size page. So yeah. I wonder if I have enough hollow. I bet you I don't. I have to go buy some. So we can put the tasks, I don't know, maybe like right here. Or maybe I could put it where I would have my monthly or something. We're 
still in July. I didn't even do a July one. I don't know. I'm gonna put it right here for right now. So then you could also, alternatively, you could have made the um, vinyl go up here in the top of the tab. So that's what you could have done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, this front part kind of sucked. <laughs> and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and see other Cricut tutorials and stuff that I have for you. You can totally do this in silhouette. I just always like to root for the Cricut. So yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.